friends in this lecture we learned about sort and sort n functions two functions of sorting uh, you see these functions are not supported by excel 2019 16 or 13 these are only supported by excel 365 or you can get a support online uh, open your gmail and open the google sheets google sheets are fully supporting this function you can practice out in google sheets as you see on the screen we are using google sheets to explain these functions so first we will write equal to sort bracket open and we select our source data this is our source data we select our source data after source data we put a comma and put 4 4 means we are sorting on column number 4 this we are sorting on column number 4 after that we write true true means that we are sorting in ascending order that means smaller to bigger and we press enter both no are small n is small than y so it is in alphabetical order no are above and y are below next we sort in the manner equal to sort bracket open we select our source data and we put a comma and we put 4 that means we are sorting on column number 4 this yes no yes no again and then we put true true means ascending order that means small to big after the we put 1 uh, this is like a multi level sort if you remember in earlier sorting automatically we do multi level sort this is also doing multi level sort first we sort on column number 4 and then we sort on column number 1 and this is again true it means that it is going to sort in alphabetical manner that means ascending small to big that means a d and in this manner let us see what the results will be you see first is result j and a so first two are no we have put a true alphabetical order both no's are above and both of the uh, all of the three years are below j and n are on the top then adm in alphabetical order a is the small and m is the biggest of them but you see on the above it was not in alphabetical because we have not do the multi-level sort we have not sorted on the column number one that is the guest name let us try some more functions we write down equal to here on the sort and bracket open and select the source data what actually happened in this case is if we do not give any row number or column number on which we have to sort that means by default it is sorting on column number one that means it is sorting on column number guest first column only nothing more than that and after that it will sort in ascending order by default it is true small to big or alphabetical that means a to n in this manner again we will sort again sort bracket open we select our source data put comma and we are sorting on the column number 4 but this time we are not writing number 4 we are selecting the data itself this is an example that you assume there here are only 4 columns we might be having 40 or 50 columns then you have to count down the column column number 1 2 3 4 5 to do it so in this case there is no need for that you just select the data of the column and do the sorting and the sorting is done false means we are doing in descending order that means all yes are above and all no are below right we are sorting on column number 4 now we'll do sort n sort n function gives you the number of rows from the top you sort all the rows whatever you want to and after that you can have the number of rows you want for example you might be having 50 uh, records of the students marks and when you sort them out you want the top 3 students then you can have only top 3 rows and we select our source data here the name of the student and comma 3 here 3 means that we want to have the top 3 students the sorting is done automatically on column number 1 that is in alphabetical order then we want the top 3 after sorting so that means top 3 doesn't mean b a or c top 3 means after sorting the top 3 data let us see what happens now in the sorting this is our first this is our second and this c is our third right and you see the marks comes in that manner only. Another important thing in, in here is like the data is bound with the original data. If you make changes in your original data, the target or that the sorted data is also question. Suppose we want we change this A to this B to A and A to B, and you see your target source is also changed up. Right? When the source data change, the target data also change. Let us have control Z to undo it. We'll move on to the next sort. We'll write down here sort n. We'll select our source data. We are excluding heading always, ever and always. You see, we don't select the headings. Comma three. Three means top three rows. Comma one. 
This one means that you select the top three rows and after that check if the fourth row is similar to the third row. Then select the fourth row also. Then we are sorting on which column that is B2 to B6. We are sorting on second column, column number two or B2 to B6. And we are sorting false. False means descending order. That means large numbers on the top and small numbers on the bottom. This is our answer. Let us understand how it comes. Out of his, this whole data, you see this 100 comes first and this is the largest of all. So this will be our first data and this row comes on the top. Then this 100 is our second largest number. So this row comes on second in the your sorting. Then after that this 80 comes third and this row comes third in your data. After that these two data are same. So it again checks how many data are same and picks this as the fourth row. So similarly you see B, D, C and E are the four data items that you can see on the screen. After that we will sort it again. Let's write this on third question. We will write down equal to sort n bracket open. We will select our source data. Put a column 3 comma 0. 3 means we want top 3 rows. 0 means only 3 rows. No less rows, no more rows. Only 3 rows from the top. Then B2 to B6 we select this again comma true, true means ascending order and we press enter. Now you see top three rows alphabetically A, C and E. No, it is on the second column, right? Because we have selected B2 to B6. 70 is the smallest and 280s are there. 